Those were the happiest days of my life. Big thank you to James, thank you, Janine. Like breaking the battle was your part. Thank you to you for listening to me. The Enjoy the rest of your bank holiday Monday. I'll see you back here 9.30 tomorrow morning. Now we're back on the train. Stay tuned. Because Gabby Roslin with Songs That Bring You Joy coming up next. It's Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app on your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at midday. This is Catherine Cracknell. The Royal College of Nursing has urged the Health Secretary, Steve Barclay, not to be disrespectful to nurses in England after he said their strike today was premature. The walkout affecting emergency departments has been described by the RCN as its biggest ever and is taking place the day before a meeting of health unions to discuss the government's 5% pay offer. Our health correspondent Catherine de Costa says the disruption is expected to spill over into tomorrow. They're asking the public to use emergency departments wisely they are expecting long delays in a and e thousands of appointments have had to be cancelled to prioritize emergencies um, and even when the strike ends at midnight tonight there is expected to be some sort of knock-on effect going into tomorrow and later in the week as things start to get back to normal the last evacuation flight for british nationals still trapped in sudan is preparing to depart those who wanted to escape the conflict were told to reach the coastal city of port sudan about an hour ago